Imagine being in the prime of your life and being diagnosed with a rare, aggressive form of cancer. Well, today there's new hope for those affected by this, and Dr. Victor Villalobos, along with patient Sandra Griego, are here with all of the details. It's nice to have you both on. Thank you for having us. Doctor, I'll start with a simple question. What type of cancer specifically are we focusing on today? So what we're talking about is a type of cancer called epithelial sarcoma. So epithelial sarcoma is a subtype of a broader range of cancers called sarcomas, which arise from connective tissue. And so these are very rare tumors in general. About 1% of all cancers are sarcomas, and they can arise from connective tissue. Uh, and so the difficulty of these things is they, they can affect patients of all age ranges from kids all the way up to older adults and they can arise from pretty much any part of the body as well. And Sandra, what, what signs did you have, what symptoms before you were diagnosed with this cancer that, that kind of tipped you off that something was wrong? Well, my, my first symptom was that I noticed was back in 2015. Um, I was at the gym working out and my left arm just started to tingle like pins and needles and um, it did not go away so I went home and as the days went by my arm got worse and um, I went to see my primary care physician she sent me to physical therapy I did that for many months but my arm continued to get weaker and weaker so I saw many doctors I had many tests done Finally, I had a biopsy done, and Dr. Villalobos had to inform me that I had epithelial sarcoma, which I never heard before, mm. so it was a very scary time in my life. Well, we're really sorry to hear that that happened to you. You know, we, you never want to see anybody be affected by something like that. So how have you seen it affect your life? Well, I'm starting to have movement in my arm I'm getting things done and one of the most important things that I want to do is to bring awareness about epithelial sarcoma and you took the right steps I, I would think you would agree doctor that if someone sees these signs and symptoms the first thing they should do is seek you know this professional advice so what steps should newly diagnosed patients take when when they do get this diagnosis Sure. So, you know, unfortunately, Sandra's story is actually all too common. Uh, the circuitous route to getting a diagnosis is, uh, happens a lot just because of the rarity of these tumors and the difficulty in diagnosing them. So that's why it's so important to seek uh, medical care early, but and also if you do get diagnosed with a sarcoma, to seek care at a, at a high volume sarcoma center to get uh, doctors that have expertise and get a medical team that can uh, give you the most up to date options, uh, which includes, you know, newer drugs as well. So recently there's a drug that has uh, gotten approval uh, by the FDA um, and, uh, and really uh, it's been, has gotten conditional approval and for use in patients that are ages 16 and above um, for locally advanced or metastatic uh, epithelial sarcoma. And so uh, there's also other clinical trials available that are furthering the field and giving new options to patients going forward. In the last 20 seconds or so, Sandra, what does it mean uh, to someone like you to see that there's a new option on the market uh, to treat this? Does it give you hope? Uh, yes, yes, it does. And like I said, I am so honored to be here today to raise awareness for epithelial sarcoma. Well, thank you so, so much for sharing your story. We wish you nothing but the best. And doctor, thank you for all the thank information. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be right back.